Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And we're going to talk about the subject of that book, and that is electrical fuse boards, and in particular, how to get effective grounding for radio frequencies. And we need to look over here. So what we're looking at is a three-quarter copper pipe, a plastic conduit that has a number four grounding cable in it, and another three-quarter copper pipe. Now these come down here and you'll notice that everything is insulated from this point onwards. So they come down to about here where the insulation stops and then the copper pipes and the number four grounding cable come out and are in contact with the ground in this area. And you can see the first copper pipe comes up out of the ground and the second copper pipe is a little bit longer and comes up out of the ground as well and you can't see the ground rod but the ground rod is right in the middle of these two pipes and there's another ground rod over here so below this is an eight foot ground rod so there's two ground rods on my system and you'll notice that they're on irrigation to keep them wet. And that's because ground rods function much better when they're wet. And we have the same irrigation system over here. So they get the same level of irrigation as my fruit trees. So they get quite a bit of water coming on them. And that's important for your grounding resistance or impedance as they call it. So you want your grounding system below 25 ohms. So how you do it in Tucson, Arizona is you keep the ground wet. And the reason why we brought these pipes up is these pipes are our radio frequency grounds because radio frequency will only travel down the outside of a conductor. It won't travel down the center so there's no purpose to having these solid because we're trying to dissipate radio frequencies from the fuse board over there into the ground over here and this is the best way to bring them down is you use hollow copper pipes and the reason why we brought them up to the surface is radio frequencies only like to travel on the surface of things so by bringing them up to the surface it allows any radio frequency to dissipate off onto the surface of the ground now, I actually installed these ground rods in stages. So, I installed this one first, and then a week later I installed this one, and then a week later I put them both on irrigation. And each week that I did that, I saw quite extensive headaches for a few days afterwards. That would clear up, and then the next week would come, and I would do the next stage, and I would get headaches again. And now those headaches have gone. So that tells me that by installing these radio frequency grounding pipes that I significantly changed the, the, the radio frequency emissions of my electrical system. And that was the purpose of installing these, was to create that change. And the change was significant enough to actually affect my health. And I found that very, very fascinating. So they do appear to work and I'm still currently researching this effect and if I have more information I will do another video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.